In a decisive move to counter the escalating threat posed by drones on the battlefield, Sweden has introduced a groundbreaking mobile counter-drone system developed in record time. Revealed on July 1, 2025, by the Swedish Ministry of Defense, the new systems were designed and fielded in under six months through Operation Gute, a high-priority defense initiative aimed at protecting ground troops from the rapidly growing presence of hostile unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. This swift development was made possible through collaboration between the Swedish Army, the Defense Material Administration, FMV, and domestic defense companies. Their shared objective, deliver a field-ready, efficient, and scalable anti-drone solution that can be operated by conscripted soldiers with minimal specialized training. Central to Sweden's approach is an emphasis on automation, fast reaction time, and ease of use. The new system blends various active and passive sensors within a fully automated command and control framework. The result is a highly responsive system capable of tracking, identifying, and neutralizing drones in seconds, crucial in today's drone-dense combat zones. The field demonstration of this capability showcased two powerful mobile systems. The first is a 4x4 armored vehicle mounted with Saab's track fire Ares, a remote weapon station armed with a 30mm cannon. The Ares platform is built for quick target acquisition and high-precision strikes. Outfitted with thermal optics, laser rangefinding, and CCD cameras, it enables operators to detect and engage low-flying, fast-moving UAVs with remarkable accuracy. The second platform features a 6x6 military truck outfitted with the Tridon MK2 turret developed by BAE Systems. Equipped with a 40mm Bofors cannon and 3P programmable munitions, this system provides a longer engagement range and superior firepower, ideal for intercepting larger or more agile drones. Its advanced radar and optical sensors, combined with digital fire control, allow for smart engagement decisions with little human input, essential in the chaos of modern combat. Operation Gute's test scenarios simulated hostile drone incursions, evaluating the systems under real-world conditions. The synergy between high-tech sensors and automated targeting proved effective, neutralizing drone threats quickly and reliably. These platforms not only bolster Sweden's military readiness but also present a scalable model for other NATO-aligned forces seeking cost-efficient counter-UAV measures. Beyond tactical success, Sweden's anti-drone concept addresses the economic challenges of air defense. Conventional missile systems, while effective against traditional aerial threats, are prohibitively expensive and poorly suited for shooting down swarms of cheap commercial drones. With the rise of FPV drones and quadcopters in asymmetric warfare, defending against them using multi-million dollar interceptors is neither practical nor sustainable. The Swedish solution, using automatic cannons with airburst munitions, delivers broad area coverage and lethality at a fraction of the cost. These mobile, gun-based systems can serve missile stockpiles and offer a more flexible defense posture, especially when protecting moving units or forward positions. Ultimately, Sweden's new anti-drone doctrine reflects a broader strategic pivot, investing in adaptive, modular, and locally produced technologies to meet the evolving nature of war. Through rapid innovation and industrial mobilization, Sweden is not only enhancing its own security but also signaling its emergence as a leader in counter-drone warfare on the European stage.